Are you looking to create the perfect cover photo for your Facebook profile? Sometimes this can be a huge pain because what looks good on desktop doesn't always look great on mobile. Today I'm gonna to show you how to build your cover photo using a super simple Figma template that I created. And yes, of course, you can download that template for free. All right, this video is gonna be short and sweet and right to the point. Go ahead and click the link in the description so you can download the template and follow along. And if you don't have Figma, you can download it for free by using the other link in the description. All right, we'll see you over in Figma. Okay, so what I've done here is I just took the three images that I'm using and I put them into one frame. So I downloaded this get shit done image, I downloaded my own image, and I downloaded this mountains image and I just put them together on a frame. And that's all I did. And then I added some text over the top, okay? And so to do that, all you have to do is just import your images and then you just put them together on a frame. So I would go up here, I would choose build a frame. Uh, the, the frame for, the, frame for um, the, the cover photo is 820 by 360. So what you would do is you just go click frame you would draw this little frame here, and then you come over here to width, and you do 820, height 360, and now you know the exact size of what your cover photo needs to be. Okay, now you can go to, you know, pixels, or you can use the photo of yourself that you have, and you can just insert it right here onto this frame, and it will chop it to that exact size. And then you can kind of, you know, maneuver things around and make sure it looks good. Once it looks good, if you want to add some text, you just go up here to text, and then you click anywhere you want. I am some text. And then you can choose your font. I use Geominist. I would just make it like bold, and then you can make it a lot bigger. And then you can add this on your um, profile or on your photo if you want to put it like vertically, kind of like I have. So guys, you can see how simple this is to create something. The other option you have is just go to Canva and you know put in your dimensions and then pull a template in there. Like it doesn't have to be super. It doesn't have to be super fancy, it just has to communicate who you are, okay? So once you have this kind of, uh, this kind of layout completed, now you can start using this template here. And so all you're gonna have to do, I'm just gonna delete this here. So this is mine. This is my cover photo that I've used, that I've built myself. Right now I've downloaded it as an image, so like, the text is not separate from the images. Whereas when you build yours, obviously the text is gonna be living on top of it and you'll have to export it as an image. But once you've exported it, everything's gonna to be together and then you can just take this template here and go like this. You can just drag this down and it will actually like click right on top. So now you can see that um, everything that is inside of this area here that doesn't have any blue or purple or green on it is going to be visible for both mobile and desktop, okay? Everything that's out here in the purple, you'll also see on desktop, and then everything up here in the, the green, you'll also see on desktop and no mobile, okay? Or excuse me, you'll see on mobile and not desktop. And then I also put the cutout for the profile picture here, which is 169 by 169 pixels. So if you want to get like your profile picture and you wanna set it up like this, then you can just drag your profile picture up here, and then you can see exactly what it's going to look like on the desktop. All right, mobile, I don't do one for mobile just because everyone's phone is different. I'd have to build like 10 different templates for this to make it work on everybody's different phone now that there's so many options. So what I suggest doing for mobile is once you get your desktop set up and you export it and you start to put it into Facebook, then just have your phone right there and then look at it to see what needs to be changed. And then you can just move things around. Like when I built mine the first time, my text was a little lower and I noticed that my profile picture was kind of cutting it off and so I had to move it up and then you know you just adjust things as you go. You'll figure it out but as long as you have this template like this is a pretty good guide as to um, where things are going to sit on the screen. All right so like I said I will put a link below this video to access this exact file. It'll be a .fig file and you'll have to have Figma in order to open it up. So I'll also put a link below that you can download Figma directly for free. So I would download it first and then open the file and then it will just open right up and then you can just build your image in here if you want, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial and if you did, go ahead and give it a like and press that subscribe button. 
I post multiple videos a week with tutorials just like this one for everything that is digital marketing. Thanks for watching and hopefully we see you in the next video. Whoa.